Joining us now is Kate Crone. She's a poet. You saw her blowing up the mic, just blowing it up. Kate, that was incredible. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <clears throat> it's still pretty. Bayou Baby, surviving on southern, but not of the border, burritos. Lives on the corner of backwards and blindfolded. Ingredients ripe for a suburban succotash. Hashed together corn and lima beans. Shucked, shelled, and boiled. Great Depression leftovers left over. Stretching my skin thick like the alligators swimming in my backyard bayou to avoid the girls who blew kisses at the boys. And not me, a little girl, different, insistent, demanding, a handful. <laughs> My parents would whisper to the neighbors as they drank wine and grilled the hot dogs that I would only eat peeled. On our imitation New Orleans courtyard porch, while behind us this bayou flowed like unfiltered cigarettes caressed smoke, fleeting, burning when caught in just the right light before the bank curves out of the sunset, where the neighborhood boys and I would ride our bikes at full speed, aiming for a head-on collision, hoping that when we'd surface, I'd have Danny's pitching arm and Clayton's kicking leg, and that Keith would suddenly have my ability to speak, our best features traded on impact so that we could finally say yes. We are brothers. But we always swerved off track. I never kicked a home run or pitched a back-to-back -back inning. See, my team was focused on winning the ultimate kickball Hall of Fame play of the game championship title. And I, a neighborhood idol of not knowing when to quit while you're ahead, suffered from chronic scraped knees and sweat-stained baseball caps and accidentally running through the neighbor's flower beds, stories as sisters, words for bats, shoes with tape down the cracks because a new pair would just get dirty in a week if they found themselves on my feet. So I drew a mustache on my only Barbie, who sits regal and assertive on the inside of my pink high-top sneakers, a decal of branding, the pink, the sneakers, the Barbie, a little girl they made, different, insistent, demanding. Down the trails and back we would run where the filthy innocence of sweat and dirt would stain our necks all the same color because it's not until we're told to shower on the regular that the dirt finally settles. From this bayou backyard, I was born behind my plantation pillared window boxed landscape corner lot house with a pool and a dog and St. Francis of Assisi bowing his head to the Lord, our ruler, something like that. See, I prayed to the neighbor's cat who would listen even if I couldn't pet it. An allegory of allergies, you can't always get what you want. I prayed to the giant pile of dirt that we would carve cities into. Cities of earth and twigs and spit and sweat and stories of Jenny, the girl from science class who we all hated but secretly loved. Her dark hair and big glasses, Pocahontas backpack to match my Spider-Man lunch sack. <laughs> Daily story contest. I told them I had to be honest. She, come, she talked to me once. No, no. I told them I had to be honest. She, she talked to me once, complimented me on my shoes. The Barbie ones told me she'd had them, but they tore down the crack, tore down the back. I showed her my taped crack. She laughed like she had just noticed my fly was unzipped. Ashamed for me. But I was proud because the boys didn't know what to say when I told them. I still think she's pretty anyway. Now, you were a resident in a program, a local program that's new to me, so do you want to tell us a bit about it? Yeah, basically what I do in my position is I'm poet in residence with working for theater, and they're a socially conscious theater troupe based out of Iowa City, and what I do as poet in residence is I plan and perform in our monthly spoken word oral storytelling and performance show, Was the Word, mm -hmm. it's part of the Angler's Intimate series, uh, every third Sunday of the month at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yeah, this was down. yeah, this was a special this month today. Special poetry occasion. pro am pro am was a special occasion. Yeah, oh, it was wonderful. Yeah, what did you think about the kids? I couldn't tear my eyes away. They're unstoppable, gorgeous human beings. I, I couldn't tear myself away. They're so smart. Oh God, the range, the the articulation of themes. Yes. Oh my gosh, it was unbelievable. They have boldness, yeah. confidence. That's really refreshing to see. It is, it is. And you have that too. When did that start? Oh. Did you start writing and performing poetry like that? Um, I actually, I, I, I uh, went to the U 
uh, in their undergraduate creative writing program, and I, and I studied fiction, actually, and um, took the right class in the right theater department with the right professor and the right graduate TA and met all of these people who connected me to working group and was the word, and I just haven't really stopped performing. So it's been, you know, nine months, a year, um, doing this, and I just say yes every opportunity that comes my way um, and, and they keep coming so I keep doing them which good. is good I feel yeah. like I should ride that out you should <laughs> just where, keep where saying can you yes. go with this can you go on a tour away what are the possibilities um uh they're endless if I get those <laughs> offers and can if, when, and call when, me when. yeah when uh I'm available I am here <laughs> um right now my my steady steady gig is was the word um, and I'm, I have my hands during a lot of projects coming up through the university. Um, Darwin Turner Action Theater is a social conscious, again, I really am down with right. that kind I of see. arts, arts for a reason kind of purpose. thing. Purpose. Living life purpose. with purpose. Yeah. 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 Um, and I'm, I'm rehearsing for that, and it's basically a poetry theater showcase show. Um, so that's <laughs> something in the works. We'll have to check you out. You have yeah. a real yeah. And yeah. Get you out, Bo and Amber. And <laughs> did you work with them, by the way? I didn't, because I was in rehearsal for this show coming up. Oh, so my. I missed I missed that master class, which was a bummer. Oh. But I got to see the results, which I think was the most important and, and valuable part of this evening. Okay. Oh, so, man. That was really phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Definitely not. show that. Yeah. Any words of wisdom that you would have given them if you were in that Oh, keep writing, say yes, and don't be scared. Amen. That's all there really is to it. Keep writing, don't be scared, say yes. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Fun. I love your energy. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Fun. I love your energy. Oh, thanks. Thanks. (laughs) Thanks, guys. It's done. Cool. Cool. Frame is sponsored by Allegra, Click Marketing Solutions, Dial Folio Jewelry, 